Hi, welcome to Dixie Storytime World, a Twinkle original, The Great Shape Race. Who's excited to do The Great Shape Race? asked Auntie Sarah, stopping at the traffic lights. Me, me, me! Nathan and Elise chanted from the back of the car. They had been looking forward to the art gallery competition for weeks. Let's practice hunting for shapes, suggested Auntie Sarah. Green circle, yelled Nathan. Auntie Sarah looked around, just as a beep sounded from behind. Green circle, he yelled again, pointing at the green traffic light. Rectangles, octagon, Elise called as they travelled over a pedestrian crossing and halted at a stop sign. Nathan was eager to find a shape. Triangle, he bellowed when they passed a giveaway sign. Then he shouted, square, where, sang out Auntie Sarah. That letter box, answered Nathan. Hmm, I'll give it to you this time, but it's actually a cube, explained Auntie Sarah. By the time they reached the art gallery, a line of people had formed. A friendly attendant swung open the doors and gave each competitor a form and a clipboard. The attendant reminded everyone to follow the green rectangular prisms if they got lost. Good luck, he said. Nathan and Elise dashed around the corner. They scanned each artwork looking for shapes of any size. All of these paintings are portraits, Elise whispered to Nathan. The next portrait they encountered was the colourful, embarrassed Harris. Oh my goodness, squealed Elise. We can fill in all of the 2D shapes. They could see an octagon, pentagon, hexagon, circle, square, rectangle and triangle. I wonder why poor Harris is embarrassed, pondered Nathan. What's in this room, said Nathan, peering into a vibrant space with different textiles. These have cool patterns, said Elise, although I can't seem to find any 3D objects. That was until their eyes connected with breakfast is ready. This artwork is making me feel hungry, giggled Nathan. The fabric was covered in loaves of bread, jars of jam and lumps of butter. I spy rectangular prisms, cylinders and cubes, reported Elise. Nathan turned around to see a girl with a clipboard looking at them from across the room. He smiled at her then mumbled to Elise, quick let's get out of here. They edged towards the doorway and disappeared into a room exhibiting photographs of street art. Elise admired the use of bold lines in the photo, titled Hidden Birdhouse. I like that this artwork brightens up the laneway, commented Elise. I like that it has a pentagonal prism, cheered Nathan as he filled in the box on their form. Children's voices drifted up the corridor. Nathan and Elise sneaked away into a bright white room. Watch out, Elise warned Nathan as he almost walked into a sculpture. Nathan cautiously moved away from the three wooden triangular prisms, balancing a glass sphere titled In Perfect Balance. Do you think it's funny that this three-dimensional artwork has 3D objects? asked Nathan. I think it's funny that we only have two more 3D objects to find. At the end of the bright white room, they could see a sunken section that was dark and mysterious. Elise was drawn to a drawing named On the Bright Side. Her eyes marveled at the clever use of tone and shading that made it look lighter on one face of a square base pyramid. One more to go, they sang together. As they exited the room, they were stunned by a magnificent wall mural. At first, it looked like a painting, but as they examined it closer, they could see a mixture of textures. Tapestry sand, fabric fish, crochet coral and oil paints formed an incredible underwater landscape. Their eyes swept back and forth, hunting for any 3D objects. It was on the ocean floor where Elise found cone-shaped coral. The last 3D object could finally be completed on their form. Elise hurried back to the foyer without realising that Nathan was still captivated by the war mural. The coral looks so real, Nathan said out loud as he turned around to find that he was all alone. His heart began to pound. He thought that Elise had decided to run off without him. Which way do I go? Nathan asked himself as he looked around the room. Then he remembered that the attendant had mentioned following a green 3D object. Pyramid? No! Cone? No! Nathan kept thinking until he looked up and saw a green rectangular prism with the word exit. 
A wide grin spread across his face. He began to follow the exit signs back to the foyer. As Nathan ran around the last corner, he bumped into Elise. There you are, Elise rejoiced. I was looking for you everywhere. I handed in our form. They're about to tell us who won. Attention, everyone, the attendant said into the microphone. I'd like to announce that the winners of the Great Shape Race are Nathan and Elise. Yes, the pair cheered while walking through the crowd. Together, they lifted the trophy, beaming with pride. Thanks for working with me, said Elise. We make a great team, smiled Nathan. Thank you for listening and learning about all these different shapes. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the subscribe button and I'll see you soon in another adventure. Bye for now.